Holden down the lane. Floater off the glass again. And he's called for the foul, but the full arsenal tonight from Matt Bolden. Play in college basketball is the screen and roll. Notice that two defenders go with Bolden. Nobody covers Sacre. That's a little bit of a Canadian flavor to it. Elias Harris from Germany. You see that more and more in a college game. Trasolini. He's not from Italy. He's from Vancouver. There's your guy again, Rob. Speaking of young players, Carey and his wife have a baby coming in April. They're first. So he'll he'll get even younger. Nice, nice look, Sacre. Terry, when you see a guy shooting a high percentage from three, it means they're taking good shots. I'm going to tell you, Stephen Gray tonight has played. And it's ironic that last year with Patty Mills, St. Mary's was a better team than they are right now. Last year they didn't make it. This year they're in a great position. Harris setting a screen. But I like his perspective and I like the fact that young people now look nationally as opposed to regionally when I was in school. Holden gave it up. Well, you see Matt Bolden doing his thing, being a playmaker, and getting back, setting up for this again. Getting out on the break. He's always in control, Terry. Behind the back, crossover, beautiful pass. All of a sudden, the ball beats the player right there, hitting his teammate underneath the basket. Just an uncanny ability to set his teammates up. Here he follows up on the shot. Gifted by Foster. Numbers now for the Zags. Bolden finds a cutting Harris. Hard foul. Can't lay it up on 7-5. Big fella got it out. Watch the hesitation right here. He head faked. Trips. So it's 43-21 Gonzaga. Good look from Bolden. And one. Gertzen finishes. Terry, I'm so impressed. Matt Bolden's ability to stay in balance and control set that play up. Looked like he was going. I don't care where you're at. I mean, that's difficult to deal with. It takes a guy like Mark Few. It's why, why they're so impressive as a program. You saw that they haven't lost back-to-back -back conference games in a decade. Following there, Manny Arup able to pull down the board, toss inside. There's Sacre, who's been good early on. Two more for him. Good hustle by Robert Sacre getting on the floor. And Terry, you're right. TJ Campbell, one of the few guys going to create together for a national championship. You're still playing for it in basketball. Sixteen-point lead over San Diego in their game tonight. Bolden. His numbers it reminiscent of places like Cameron Indoor. Uh, Cole, the Cole Center of Wisconsin, just very different. Foster, nice back tap, now Bolden. Off the glass and two for Matt. Now the pace is what we anticipated, Terry, at the beginning of the game. Bolden to the right hand, quick first step across court. Arap led it perfectly. Oh, we were tied up. And and it's been a 22 to 4 run the last six minutes plus. And and every defensive look at the Matt Bolden showing every facet of his game. Right there off the bounce, taking the bump. Great body control and strength at the hole. And then goes, flashes into the post. Puts of the team, which is TJ Campbell. And as a result, Portland never has found their rhythm offensively. Shane, you got Campbell trying to stop. 14 in the first half for Sam Ann. Ooh, that's nasty off the pinky toe. Harris, too strong. Sacre an offensive rebound, though. Bolden. And Matt Bolden showing Matthew Delavadova. Get in the weight room, young fella. Bulldogs trying to make it 13 consecutive trips to the NCAA tournament. Catch and shoot for Bolden. That's smooth on the feet from Goodson. Smelters the miss. Here come the Zags. Great hesitation. Kicking it out to Bolden. Spotting up beyond the arc. And he buys it. 
he's got a whole different makeup. He likes college. He likes being here. He likes developing as a young man. I think we'll see him here next season. And Jared Stoll struggling here in the second half. And Eric Reveno did not need that. 24-point game. 27-point game. Wow, how impressive the shooting and the ball handling if he's going to make that transition to the three spot for Harris. We'll have to work on that in the offseason. Bolden doesn't have to work on that. Seconds to go. Hands it off to Bolden. Launches the three. Got it! On this jumper by Bolden. A nice in and out dribble to create the space. It was a little surprising. Much the mocking of Omar Samhan by the crowd. Yes, <laughs> it was a standing ovation for Foster. Well, when in doubt, give the rock to Bolden, knowing that his team is on a run. Beat. He's a veteran player. He, he just loaded John with substance. It's sort of an urban legend. Teams would come up to Canada and play, and he dropped 30. You like that one, huh? I enjoyed that, yes. Oh, okay. I might get that crochet into a pillow. Find their confidence and pour it right in. Perimeter big man. One of the keys will sack Ray go out. Off the move, Smith can hit, and Bolden takes it the other way for the Zags. Matt Bolden, guy who's really kind of been in the shadows the past few years of guys like Cargo and Heitfeld. He's one of the top players in the conference this year. And Bolden with a takeaway. Being hounded by Payne. The one thing about Matt Bolden, he operates as both a lead guard and a two guard. And right kept going for a little extra. I'm not sure whether you would have been on your feet or on your face because I think the student section probably <laughs> would have come tumbling down. On. Those are bonus points for Gonzaga. Is it taken away by Bolden? Bolden averages about one point. See the Portland trying to extend the defense, but once that first level of defense is broken, the middle is very susceptible. One-handed pass. Campbell never put it away. Stole the miss. He's had a tough second half. TJ lets it fly. In and out. 